Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. You are watching Calligraphy and Art by Method. Today I am going to reuse a canvas which you have seen that already have been painted before and I am putting paints over it and I am using disposable cups and I have put paints in it and here is my one transparent glass to to put paints in it like one by one I'm gonna put all of these paints I'm gonna pour them out in the in the transparent glass to, to create layers here is it I just put it in the center of the canvas just to make my layers so here I have chosen first of all the white paint they all of them are acrylic paints and just to tell you I pour, I mix pouring medium it's float roll in each paint so I have added paint acrylic paint and float roll and mix them well and now I'm pouring the first layer was white the second was navy blue then pacific blue then turquoise now I'm pouring golden paint now again same pattern I'm repeating again white paint here is it in first pattern of layer I have poured out half paints and now I am pouring the rest of half now I just put my all paints in same sequence like white navy blue pacific blue turquoise and then golden and last all of these paints had same thickness that's why they will be equally flow flowy now I'm gonna flip my cup over the canvas here you have seen that I just flipped it up and the paint will go down uh, in few minutes I'm poking the back of the cup to to make a hole with thumb pin now paint has gone down and carefully I pull up cup and let the paint spread now you now you have seen that paint is spreading it was spreading by itself and now I started tilting my canvas in different directions there we go you can see the flow of this paint because of float roll this is the pouring medium it gives a really nice flow to paints going to reach the all all corners you can see the all background paint has been covered by this paint I'm going to trying to reach the last corner too here is some golden color there we go in this way the sides of canvas covered too and we don't need to paint the sides as well here is it I just covered the whole canvas by tilting my canvas it's all done now I'm going I'm going to leave it to dry here you can see the paint is all dry in the same pattern in same directions you can see in different angles you can see a beautiful shine on this painting I have used acrylic paints and pouring medium of artist loft so they turn out so well now I'm going to put stencil on it to create a beautiful flower design on the painting. So I just put it on one side of my canvas. I'm going, going to use golden pen of studio. Here I, have, I just uh, place the stencil on one corner of my canvas and put a masking tape over it. So it will not going to move anymore stencils are good to get a decent design by by using paints but this time uh, i just want the outline of these designs that's why i'm using pen and it was super easy just to draw inside the designs i'm not i i didn't fill them with the golden paint i just draw the outlines of all of these patterns and design and the parallel circles each and every design here you can see how it does it turn out because I draw only 
outlines of this they are shiny and glowy too here it's time to write the name over it so I'm going to choose straight paintbrush for that here you can see it has soft hairbrush this is how I'm gonna write over it on it this is straight from the top this is titanium white of artist artist's loft and I'm gonna use this paint to write name which is Torhan now let's start writing this is how I just composed the names to start writing to with this they are super easy to get uh, the paint brushes in same angle just like the paint brush just like the column I just got something wrong that's why I just wipe it out before it gets dry and the, these q-tips or cotton swabs are super easy to clean this paint before it gets dry I just dip that cotton swab in water and clean the extra paint here and then writing to now it's trying to write raw here is it just composing the raw when we write with column it's uh, it's super easy to write in the in the right direction but when when we are using paint brush we need to write backward because the hair of paintbrush cannot be straight that's why we need to write from backward here is ha and going to join it with alif here is it if you want me to write your name you can write your name in, in your comment in the comments box and I will try to write your name as well. This is Dorhan, boy, boy's name. Now, noon. Here is it. This font is called Sulus, like Khate Sulus. There we go, it's noon. This was the first layer, that's why you can see it. It's a little bit rough and in paint we always need second layer of paint I'm all done the basic name now I'm gonna do the second layer over it the name is dry now so I can do the second layer over it so same way very carefully I'm just uh, putting one more layer very carefully I just use the edge of my paintbrush to to draw the thin line of of alphabet it's Arabic alphabet and I use the most thickness uh, part of my paintbrush to draw the thickest area of this word here is the raw very carefully Sometimes in first layer, the background colors uh, might be visible. That's why it's better to, to apply second layer over it. It turned out so well. And carefully we can do the second layer to get the best results. So these are some final touches we can always need to give to any painting okay almost done going to finish the last alphabet known as well all right it's almost done and now we'd like to add Harakat over it 
which is called like in Urdu you can say Zabar Zair Pesh or in Arabic you can say Dama Fatha Kasra and some beautiful ornaments to make it more attractive so here is small I'm using the small paintbrush for the name I have used the bigger paintbrush and now I'm using small paintbrush for signs this is jasm for raw now uh, I think I need to draw Fatha here is Fatha alright on the ha now one more jasm or sakoon or noon now I'm going to add a little bit beautiful ornaments to make it more effective and nice I just fixed the noon and fixing some more spots wherever I feel that I need to do some final touches I'm all done the name and harakat I'm just gonna add few more ornaments around these alphabets wherever you can see the empty spots the gaps between these letters so I will add ornaments in here and it will be done then here is the closer look thank you so much for watching if you like this video please thumbs up share it subscribe to my channel we'll see you in next video